Okay, so we've got the, the guitar pretty much set up. We're just gonna check the electrics now. So we've got it plugged in. It's just plugged into my Kemper profiler thingy over there. So uh, what are we gonna check for, Charlie? Just that everything does what it's supposed to do, really. Okay. So, five-way selector. in the tone there between yeah the... it's okay and and i think the sound there that kind of getting that it's not quite as um soft and forgiving maybe as a as a, a strap back pickup might be it's, uh -huh. it's got a bit more kind of grip to it in some ways uh -huh. um so that's fine. It's really funny when I did the first unboxing of this, I was really disappointed that the tone control didn't adjust the bridge because that's I've got, uh, got a lot of my yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, like that. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's like, yeah. oh, what's going on? It doesn't work properly. And then yeah. I was informed by the internet quite bluntly that I'd got it completely wrong because I think all of my strats have just been wired like that. Yeah, well, I've had them wired like that since yeah, forever. Yeah, yeah, they've been, you know, on some of the models they've been doing that for a while where you have got, you know, a tone on the, on the bridge pickup, uh -huh. which kind of makes sense. But if you've got a scenario like this, uh, you can certainly wire you know, a tone to the bridge pickup. And kind of one thing that we do quite often now with strats is um, a blend pot wiring, which gives you uh, master volume stays the same, second control typically becomes a master tone and then the uh -huh. bottom control becomes like a blend so when it's on full it's kind of doing nothing and you've got volume master tone whatever selection you've got in there yeah. but if you roll this off when you've selected the neck pickup it'll add the bridge pickup uh -huh. so that gives you those two pickups in that position uh, if you were in that position there with uh, the middle and the neck on together, roll this to zero, oh, it adds that to all three. three. And then you, the middle selection say is doesn't that has no effect. And then you get kind of a mirror image in you know the next two positions. Mm -hmm. So that position normally those two. Yeah. Roll that to zero, adds that all three. That one normally this yeah. one, adds that. Okay. That's an interesting one. I'm, I'm just having um, uh, grey guitars are making me a guitar yeah, at the moment. Okay. And one of the things that where uh, I've got a Stratty type thing with a humbucker single coil and a TV Jones style thing in the neck. Yeah. And that one's going to be a blend to be able to put that in on any one to add like that fat gritty sound yeah, yeah. on any other combination. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so you can get pretty funky with the wiring ideas, right? Yeah, there's loads of things you can do. And the other thing that's... Uh, probably the most popular thing um, is people complain of losing losing the high end each turn the volume down uh -huh. there's um, different people running different things volume kit uh, treble bleed network mm -hmm. whatever you want to call yeah. it it's a tiny capacitor sometimes a capacitor and a resistor that you patch across essentially the input and the output of the volume uh -huh. and that then retains the high end that's oh, the high end okay. go straight to the output right so that's useful i've for got a feeling i might have that you've on. probably got that on yeah, some yeah. things uh prs guitars come with that as standard uh -huh. uh, who else does it as standard those are the old checked guitars had it as standard uh -huh. Um, some telecasters. Is that the kind of thing people could do themselves fairly easy with if a bit you, of research, or if, if, if they can solder? Yeah, if you're happy uh -huh. soldering, you can do it. Yeah, right. yeah, okay. no, yeah, no worries. Yeah, and and certainly the blend pot thing as well. That's not too complicated. That, that, see, that's the kind of thing that for me, I'm a fairly confident solderer, but I don't think I'd do that. I'd rather somebody else who really knows what they're yeah, doing do it. Or, or is yeah, that being I, silly? I, I would say if you if you're happy soldering, then the. Um, the soldering is the worst aspect of it. Yeah. Uh -huh. right. You can then follow some kind of diagram. Of diagram. Hmm. Cool. Okay. So, what else? There, is there anything else that people might consider? So, we, we've said uh, possibly the electrics upgrading, things like tuning things. Yeah, the tuning that, keys on that. Uh, they're a bit. They're a bit cheap and nasty. So, I think at the point where you thought, okay, I'm going to change the pickups, mm -hmm. I would say you might. You could spend 
a little bit of money on the tuners and make a significant improvement. Hmm. Because it's it's not so much that. Well, is it is it just how they work? For me, it's how they feel when I'm tuning that it feels yeah. easier and they, yeah. they having, kind of having glide. Said, nicer, having said you know? all that about yeah. these and you know going back to my you know listen with your ears and not your yeah, eyes yeah, yeah. kind uh -huh. of maxim if you like, they're all right. They're not too bad. They're better than I thought they would be. Uh huh. They're so they, I mean, they don't seem not, to be moving really. No, no, yeah. no. They're quite they're quite solid and but typically again as with the you know the 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 switch and the, the pots and the jack they probably haven't got the longevity that you know some, uh -huh. of, some of the better made quality parts have got. Mm -hmm. how, how much is a set of tuners? Uh, I don't know, you, could, you could probably spend 40 quid on, on, a, on a reasonable set of tuners for that uh -huh. and then to be you probably have about an hour hour and a bit fitting them because a decent uh, a better set it would probably be worth getting Goto style or even Shallow style. Shallow's uh -huh. cost a bit more money. But yeah. Spursal? Or is that more money? Uh, I would only use the Spursals if you're going to be using, starting to use the trem. And this guitar, the trem might be a, a uh -huh. bridge too far. Pardon, right. excuse the pun. But, uh, <laughs> that's, that puns are allowed. Um, cool, okay, so that's a potential change as yeah. well. Maybe, maybe we have a look at then swapping those over and yeah, doing the yeah. pickup thing on this and seeing what yeah, yeah. seeing what we can get out of this yeah. little beast. Yeah. Shape of the neck and stuff like that, anything that you do, would you would you be getting uh, it it feels quite thick to me, but not horribly thick, not like there's quite a few vintage yeah, guitars that have got a similar I don't think they spent hours on shaping the neck, you know. No. Um, well it'd be a robot, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, interestingly, it's it's a tiny bit I don't know if you think of this, it's a tiny bit asymmetric, like a round hole. Yes, bit, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. it's not is, perfectly. No, no, no. Whether that's by. Uh, I doubt, it was, I doubt it was by I'm design, sure. but yeah, it's, I've it's, noticed it's that it's a bit. It's comfortable. The yeah. other thing, actually, that what we haven't done, we haven't done tease the fret ends. Uh -huh.